many of you have said you prefer the fan. So due to popular request. Your fucking job, you fucking loser. There you go. Oh, that feels so much better. And also, it blocks out the noise. Anyway, hey guys, it's Sarah. Okay, today's video is going to be all about Louie, which is really no different from the rest of my videos. <laughs> so, um, yeah, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. So recently, Louie's been doing some traveling, he's still doing his promo, blah blah blah. He was in Dallas, Texas on Thursday, and then he moved right over to New York City, which is three hours away from me, by the way. So I think Louie is still currently there, I don't know if he's gone back to London. But I hope Louie stays in New York City. But anyway, first we're gonna talk about Louie in Dallas, Texas a few days ago. So before I get into all of that, here is a quick slideshow of some pictures. Okay, first off, my queens. I know you guys call me the queen, but guys, listen, there's still Freddy's my queen, there's Ryan, there's Bianca, etc. I'm not the only queen on YouTube, also Trevor Moran, Shane Dawson. I'm just one of the queens, okay? Anyway, but Ryan and Bianca, I've been subscribed to them for a long time on YouTube, love them, and they got to meet Louie. And yes, I will admit, I'm a tad jealous, but I'm more so happy for them. I think it's better to be happy for people than to be jealous. All I know is Ryan got to see Louie in person twice. He got to go to the Teen Choice Awards because I think he won some contest. Still not sure how he did that. Like you got to see Louie in a week. Listen, I'm still waiting. When's it my turn? Like just knowing that Louie is three hours away from me, that is good enough. Like, and also just knowing that I live in the same generation as Louie. Mm. So I couldn't even imagine knowing what it's like to be in the same room as Louis or to like put my arm around him. And I also want to know if I'd be taller than Louis because I'm almost 5'8". I'm like 5'7 and 3 quarters to be exact. I still can't figure out how tall Louis is. I'm gonna guess Ryan's about 5'6", maybe 5'7", and Louis is just a little bit taller than Ryan. Louis actually looks big compared to them both. So maybe Louis's like 5'8". I don't know, but I really want to know. But also speaking of Louis pictures, he took a lot of photos with fans. And this says, for some people, the first picture is just fine and it's just a pose. But the second picture is forcing sexuality because Harry and Louis are holding hands. Yeah, that's a really good point to bring up. I'm not saying that's a bad photo and I don't want to like complain about it. But if you just look at the difference, how come people were saying that we were forcing sexuality at Louis and Harry for just wanting them to hold hands when everybody else was holding hands too. But oh, when the girls are like sticking their asses out, like half clothed looking kind of skanky, I guess. No offense. How is that any better? You know what I mean? Like I think there's a lot of hypocrisy there. And then look at this picture. This says Larry's versus Het stands. Apparently these are Larry's just taking a normal photo with Louie. He looks happy. And then if you look at these girls again, they're trying to make Louie look Het, I guess. Or they're trying to show off and look slutty. Again, I'm not one for slut shaming, but I'm just trying to compare the photos. But if I had a chance to meet Louie and I knew that this would be a once in a lifetime thing, I would not stick my ass out because, well one, I don't have an ass. If I met Louie, I would be so considerate and I would respect him so much because I knew this would probably be the only time to meet him. I don't know, again, maybe that's just me. And also guys, something else happened at that event which really should get more recognition. This says, when we were waiting for Louie, they brought this out and the lady was like, who likes Larry? And we all screamed. And here was the clip of that. So you're telling me they brought out a Larry cardboard cutout and they're like, who likes Larry? Extra much? Why wasn't I there? Like, even if I didn't get a picture with Louie, I would love to get a picture with that cardboard cutout. That would have still been worth it for me. I wonder if that was Louie's idea to bring that out, because obviously he probably knew about that, right? But just hearing about that, seeing that, that made my day. And then it came time for Louis to do interviews. So Louis was asked if he could do any collaborations with any one of the boys, which one would it be? And Louis's response was amazing. It was very well said. Louis said, there couldn't be any of that. You know what I mean? It's all in or nothing. That is a perfect response because Louis's not picking favorites. It's all or nothing. All the bandmates should be together. It shouldn't just be two and single the other out. That is a true 
family. Louis stands One Direction so hard and I love it. And also in that same interview, Harry was brought up and just look at Louis's little smile. The interviewer says Harry was on the big screen for Dunkirk. And I know this little gif isn't a big deal, it's just Louis smiling. So yeah, I'm not gonna say this is a Larry moment, but I just think it's sweet that they talk about Dunkirk, they talk about Harry, Louis smiles, it's all good, you know? So that also made me really happy. And Louis also opened up about a few more things in his interviews about his music and what he'd like to do after, if he's opened anything else. And Louis said he's focusing on singing, but he may open a fashion line in the future. I love how he says in the future, like, no, hunty, this should happen right now. You have proved that you're a model. Harry is a model as well. I think you already have a fashion line. It's just not set yet, you know? I think Louis has it all there. He just needs to, like, act upon it. Like, this needs to happen. It should be, like, a sports line, like Adidas. Like, not Adidas, but, you know, like, something like that. This is the best idea ever. He should totally do it. I am in full support of this. This also says, Louis' album will come out at the start of 2018. Okay, let's see, start of 2018, I'll probably still be on Christmas break, so I won't be busy with classes. Perfect. Perfect! So, from my understanding, Harry will be touring 2018, and so will Niall, and probably Louis as well. Listen, I'm a broke college student. <laughs> I'm going to Harry's concert, that's all I had enough for. Louis, Niall, Liam. I love you all, but a girl has to just manage her money better. Her money. Louis says the songs he's most proud of are the ones that are going to be on his album and that his favorite 1D song is Midnight Memories. And this says, didn't he say No Control and Love You Goodbye were his favorites? And this goes back to what I was saying a few videos ago about how Louis lies in interviews. Like, I'm not saying he's a liar, but he just says different things a lot, and I get really confused because I don't know what the truth is anymore. I don't know if Louis's playing some sick game with us, wicked games. <laughs> Louis needs to stop changing his answers all the time. And also speaking of Louis' interviews, he did this interview where it was like a quick fire game where he'd just give a short response. And I love these interviews because they're just short, they're to the point, and we get to know Louis really well. So here's a brief clip of that interview and Louis' answers might surprise you or might not. Um, acting. Acting, what for me personally? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I mean, we never say never, but I don't think so. Okay, judge on the X Factor. These are tough questions, maybe, maybe one day. Going to see Dunkirk. Uh, yeah, yeah. A lad's holiday with the 1D boys. That'd be fun, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd have to I'd have to be in charge. I'd have to be in charge and I'd have to book it all and do all the schedule. Yeah, because okay. otherwise, yeah. What do you think of Marcel and Gavi? Um, I think Marcel's really sweet. Reading fan fiction? Um, I find it scary, actually. It's a, it's a bit too scary for me now. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Like, the fact that he was asked about fan fiction again and he was like, oh no, they're, they're scary, guys. How much do you want to bet Louis read a het fic, you know? Or like he bottomed or something. That's the only thing I can think of like why a fanfic would be scary. I don't think Louis's reading the right fan fiction. Louis has to really sit down, log into archive of our own, Wattpad even, and just find a really good Larry fan fiction. Preferably one with a lot of chapters, a lot of plot, a lot of character development. Something that's like a true novel. Not something that's just based off of sex. So Louis, stop reading het fics and stop reading ones with you and the other boys. Or maybe you read a Louis and Eleanor fanfic, cause yeah, scary. And Louie, if you're interested, <laughs> I have a Wattpad account. I've written two works. I haven't finished one, but if you go to at oopsmethighstylinson, you won't be disappointed. And also, Louie yet again said that there will be a 1D reunion. And a 1D reunion. Of course, of course. And this is why I never worry too much what the media says or if they're coming back or not, because Louie's been saying so much that they're coming back. Okay, so after that, Louis left Dallas, Texas, and he arrived to New York City, as I stated. And first, I'll show you guys a slideshow before I get into anything else.
wish I was there. The fact that Louis was kicking soccer balls, just acting really sassy, he flipped someone off, the girl loved it. <laughs> It was an honor. Also, people were in a circle and singing back to you, and Louis loved it when they said fuck. He's like, yeah. Literally me though. Just fans being so close to Louis, like in that proximity. I'm happy for them, but jealous as well. And I'm conflicted. <laughs> Again, when is it my turn? Ugh, can we also just mention how Louis is drowning in that sweater, sweatshirt thing? And he's been doing that a lot. Like every single day, Louis's wearing a sweatshirt, sweater, blah, blah, blah. And it's just so big on him. And I guess that's just his style now. And it says, Louis was asked why he's always wearing sweaters, trackies, and socks even when it's hot and he had no explanation. Now, that stood out to me and I thought it was really important to bring that up. So a fan asked him why he's wearing this type of clothing in really hot weather. He didn't know how to explain himself. He had no reason. He didn't say why. I mean, I'm not saying Louis has to justify himself. He doesn't really have to tell people why he's wearing something because maybe he wears it because it's comfy. But a lot of fans are starting to become really worried. Like, okay, you're wearing this attire and it's really hot. Are you hiding something? Are you hiding tattoos? Do you have body and security issues? Are you hiding other stuff? I don't know, it could be anything. Like, Louis could be hiding tattoos, but how long do you have to hide tattoos? Like, Louis's been dressing like this for probably, what, a month, maybe more? I think Louis loves tattoos so much, he wouldn't be hiding them. He'd probably show them by now, right? Louis's gotten tattoos in the past, and he's never worn this attire. He showed them right away, so why would Louis change his behavior now? So part of me thinks the reason he's wearing this stuff is more than just tattoos. It could be body and security issues, because I know people who feel bigger, they like to wear bigger things to hide the shape of their body. Some people say he has scars, and I think that's kind of dark. And that also brings me back to the If I Could Fly lyric. Fuck. Not saying any of that is happening. Tell me your thoughts about that down below. And also guys, adding on to the way Louis looks and stuff like that, freaking Boopsy, the stalker, the one everybody hates, she's so annoying. If you're not familiar with her name, it's fine, trust me. But anyway, she met Louis again, and this is what she said. I told Louis not to smile with teeth because he needs to get them fixed. I, mm. Do you know like one of those situations where you're so mad and you wanna lash out, but you just don't have enough energy to do that? Like, I'm silent, but fuming. I feel like Louis right now when he had to censor himself. But listen, just to keep things calm and civil, I'm just gonna say that she's irrelevant. We don't care about her. And also, bitch, look at your teeth. There, I said it. Burn. Who are you to talk about somebody else's teeth or body when you're not even perfect yourself? Like, who are you to talk? But even if it's not true, she's done things in the past. She's been annoying to the boys, so, you know, no sympathy. And you can also see in this picture, Louis looks done. He does not want to be there. You can see it in his eyes. Looks like he's hanging out with Eleanor, you know? And by the way, if you didn't know, Liam is currently filming for his Get Low music video. There's been footage of him filming for that music video on the streets and some extras dancing along with him. There was a picture of him on a phone booth, which brings all of us back to those take me home memories. Um, I was triggered, Liam needs to stop, and he needs to chill. So I can't wait till this music video comes out and I really hope it's better than the Strip That Down music video because I thought that music video was kind of boring. And also in my opinion, I like the song Get Low better than Strip That Down. So I think either way I'm gonna like it. So make sure to show all your support to Liam when his stuff comes out. And also guys, before I end this video, I just wanna say that on Twitter, we're trying to trend 1D win Grammy because they have not won a Grammy yet. And the Grammys are January 28th, 2018 at Madison Square Garden. We want the boys to win a Grammy. And some people are like, how can they win a Grammy when they haven't put out any music this year? Well, the boys have individually as solo artists, so there is a chance that Louis could win a Just Hold On Grammy, or Harry could win a Sign of the Times Grammy. So this hashtag could certainly help that. And also, I made a petition on my Twitter that you all could sign. I want a thousand, and so far we have like a hundred. <laughs> And this petition will probably end at the end of the year in December. So just go to my Twitter. I have it as a pinned tweet. So make sure to share that and contribute to the 1D win Grammy hashtag. All the information about that will be in the description. 
Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Write all your thoughts down below. And like always, I make a video whenever I want so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. What should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.